Does your throat hurt? I don't feel much like talking. I know what it is. She insisted on sleeping in that tree last night. She slept funny and now she's got a crick in her neck. <laughs> oh, shut up, Ow! Well, if you'd slept on the ground like the rest of us, that wouldn't have happened. It's like the princess that slept on the pea. <laughs> Personally, it's breaking my heart. I hate this. I hate all of you. I hate walking. <laughs> walking is all we do. All I ask of life is one decent night's sleep, but I can tell it's never going to happen. All I get is mm, trees and boulders. Oh, how I miss my comfy bed and my warm goose down quilt. Oh. Into each wife, some dame must crawl. Well, you've been to Miracle Mountain at least once, or you couldn't have left your liver there, right? Huh? What? You can't have had comfy beds all the way on that trip, either. That was a very long time ago. I'm not going one step farther on this miserable forced march until you find me a comfortable bed for at least one night. I won't, I won't, no! Amy, are you okay? <laughs> Amy, look! There's a village. I'm sure we'll be able to find you a comfortable bed for the night. Really? Oh, goody, let's go. Do you really think that village will turn out to have anything like a comfortable bed? Well, there's no harm in hoping. Oh, oh climbing eat. What the heck is all this in aid of? What's yeah. this rope for? Gee, I'm darned if I know. What's with you? What's with you? Quit lagging, guys. Let's go already. Barkley, get out here, intruder. <laughs> We are beset by thieves! Please, can I see the thieves, Uncle Hume? It's dangerous, Fluffy. Little children should be safe in their houses. It's very strange. There's not a soul around. But still, you can tell people live here. This is fabulous. It's wonderful, soft, warm wool. I can't believe it. I've died and gone to heaven. It's just fantastic. Good go. <laughs> I could sleep for 27 and one half hours. Oh, wool and a yard one. Now maybe you're starting to understand what I was talking about. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa. 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 So that's their idea of a theft prevention device, is it? I can't wait to tell the boss he'll split a gusset laughing. It's too bright, mate. Hey, my head stopped hurting. What happened? Huh? Got you at last, you thieves. Thieves us? Don't try to pull that innocent act on us. We know that you were trying to steal our treasure. That's, That's exactly. right. Treasure? Are you talking about this wool? This is all a deplorable misunderstanding. We just wanted to lie down for a while on your lovely soft wool. Just rest the bones, my man. We don't steal. We're not thieves. Oh, you're not, huh? Then why did you break into our treasure vault? Fluffy, just stay out of this. Treasure vault? If this is a treasure vault, it's done. Step aside there. Grandpa! That wool is dearer to us sheep than our very lives. Without it, we'd have no means of surviving the harsh winters in these parts and foraging for food for the flock. There have been so many thieves trying to steal it that we had to install this secret trap. Maybe, but I'm not one of them. There's no use pretending. We can tell. We know thieves when we see them. You're evil through and through. Quiet. What kind of behavior is this in front of the painting of our holy wool? Oh. The sacred wool. Oh. What's that strange picture? 
This is a holy icon that has been passed down in our village from time immemorial. The great lesson it teaches us is that appearances can be deceiving. No matter which way you look, this way or that way, there are thieves all around us, everywhere. We've taken that lesson to heart, and as a consequence, our village is still safe. May it remain so forever. What the heck is that old goat talking about? The world isn't populated exclusively by thieves. Do you mean you trust nobody at all? Trust people? That's risible. <laughs> there isn't one being on this entire planet who's worthy of trust if he isn't a member of our flock. <laughs> That's right. <gasps> now what's the matter? My rucksack just disappeared, Amy! Somebody must have stolen it! Who could have done that, Dweegee? And now do you see what I mean? You can't trust anybody. Stop, please! A fair wine for a fair guy's work, eh? <laughs> It's those hyenas! Look, that's my rucksack! They took my hat too, the rapscallions! Let's go, Luigi! Thanks to your efforts, Fluffy, I was able to recover my hat. We have bigger problems to think about than your hat, Granther. Those hyenas said they were going to come back tonight and wipe out our treasure vault. What? Tonight? Aha! Uh -huh. So that's why they were here earlier. They were spying out the lay of the land to see what kind of trap we had installed in the vault. Mm, it's very clever of you to figure that out, Myron. This is just terrible. <sighs> All right, they know about our trap, so it's of no use to us anymore. Now we're going to have to defend our village by force. I'm ready to fight, Granther. You can count on me. We'll give you a hand. Hey, Hero, you're kidding. We don't want to stay around here with all this fuss and trouble going on. The word from here is to skedaddle. If you want to go, go. I'm going to stay here until I get my rucksack back, and that's final. Is there something important in it, Dweegee? The guest quarters are through there. They're quite comfortable. Make yourselves at home. Uh -huh. <laughs> huh? Hey, what are you doing? Let us out! I have no choice. We're still not sure whether you're thieves or not. Granther, you can't think here and his friends are thieves anymore. They helped us recover our stolen property. Fluff, don't tell me you've already forgotten the teachings of our ancestors. You mean that appearances can be deceiving? Sure, but in this case... Exactly. They could easily be in cahoots with those hyenas. That's ridiculous. Think of it logically, Fluffy. They raised a big foo-for-ah in the vault, and so the hyenas were able to get away with our stuff. It fits. What are you saying? We're not that kind of people. Well, one way of making us believe you is for you to hand over all weapons. Here. You take care of this, Fluffy. I know you believe us, Fluffy, don't you? Mm-hmm. Good work, lads. Well done. The fight should be mentioned in the dispatches. That's terrific. So now we don't have to worry ourselves about traps. Most satisfactory. We are the best, aren't we? We can get any price we name for that fine quality wool. We shall be as rich as creosote. 
The only thing, boss, is keep in mind that in the village there's this incredibly big ostrich and this turtle with a great big sword. Huh? Huh? Did you eavesdrop what I just eavesdropped? Isn't that interesting? I would say indeed fascinating. All that treasure just sitting there. Well, it won't be sitting there very long if I have any say in the matter. When I hear the word treasure, every thieving corpse suckle in my bloodstream starts singing hallelujah. Mm, how interesting. Uh -huh. ah! There's no need to hide. <coughs> Let's work together. I'm Horst, a weasel and the Prince of Thieves. So let Horst Weasel lead you to victory. Mm. You don't get an opportunity like this every day. It really burns me up to hear that those hyenas got there first. We could always let them do the hard work of stealing the treasure, then we relieve them of it. That has the earmarks of an exceptional idea. Mm, yeah, but let's hear the details. I'll let you take part in the snatch under my guidance. Hey, wait. Yeah, let's hear it. You say you're the Prince of Thieves. So why let us in on the deal? Why not carry it out all by yourself? Hey, sis, you can't expect a mastermind like him to be good at the technical stuff, too. Mm -hmm. No, I am not without certain rudimentary skills in the technical department. <clears throat> Ta-da! Hey, those are my undies! I oh, told you, you even! The point is, no matter how skillful I am, those hyenas know my face. <laughs> That's what's gonna make the going tough. That's mm. clear enough, Horst. But there has to be a little give and take here. We'll be glad to steal the treasure for you if you'll do something for us. Of course, you've got a profit. But what do you want me to steal? There's a certain sword we wouldn't mind getting our hands on. Guard our treasure with your lives, your fortunes, and your sacred honor. Ceaseless vigilance. What seest thou? They've got a real tight guard around the vault. Excellent, my lad. We'll carry out the attack as planned. Once more into their breaches, dear friends. Oh, 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 what is this? Oh, what is this? Help! Oh, look what this means! Fire! Fire! I want you all to calm down. There's nothing to be gained by obstreperous Rodamontade. Calm down! Brother, I beg leave to point out that if we don't extinguish the fire, the village will burn down! Your argument is not without its merits, lad. Singe my beak! Help! 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 Here, give me that. <gasps> Free of us! Haven't you guys ever heard of the Geneva Convention? Listen to the lady! Let's get one thing clear. I'm not freeing you because I trust you, but because I think you can help us. Here's your sword. Chaps, go. What am I going to do? I can't just stand here. Lost load, mites. A lovely job, laddie. Simply lovely. Let's go. I have no choice. None at all. Hurry, here. If this keeps on, the fire will spread to the village. I'll stop them. Boy. 
taking candy from my booby, sis. These hick farmhand thieves are so easy to fool. Technique does it every time. <laughs> How can wool be so heavy? There you go. I'll load it. Hey, where do you think you're going? Stop! Stop! <laughs> Many thanks for your kind assistance. <laughs> hey, wait. We had an agreement. You were supposed to get that sword to me. Oh, well. Honor among thieves and all that jazz. <laughs> Too bad, sweetheart. Hey! How Come can back you do here. that to us? You can't you're do not, this to you're us! You're a criminal! Oh, well, you're a criminal! <laughs> you tried. Yeah, it was Horst the Weasel who stole it. That's right, and he's getting away in that boat right now. Did you say a weasel? Do you mean to say there's another thief? It's a regular thieves' carnival. And speaking of which, what brings you around these parts? Since it doesn't concern you in the least, it's none of your business. Well, technically, it does concern them. If you want to look at it, Shut up. <laughs> uh, we were just passing through, nothing more. Is that a fact? Well, right now, we have no time to waste on them. That's right. I'll show you a shortcut. Come on. <laughs> so now what do we do? Follow them. What else? <gasps> <laughs> you got to be sharper than the next guy if you want to survive. I might be caught if I'm not very careful indeed. Yeah, being stupid must be our living nightmare. Oh, still chat. Uh -huh. So you're the one who's trying to pull the wool over our eyes. I say, deucedly good, that. What? <laughs> How did you...? Everyone knows that if you follow the road down the mountain, you come directly to the river. A bit lacking in grey matter, are we? <laughs> Give him his just desserts, chaps, and I don't mean roly-poly pudding <laughs> at all. <laughs> 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 you over there! You're the evil criminals who stole the precious wool out of the sheep's treasure vault! Who the devil are you, coves? We are the rightful owners of that treasure, and you must give it back to us! <laughs> Do I hear her right? Our sheep threatening hyenas are perfectly priceless! <laughs> 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 There's my rucksack! How dare you steal other people's belongings? There's no excuse for that! Neighbors are like family. Oh, really? 
Yes, in other words, neighbors should be good neighbors and try to get along with one another. But in this day and age, it's rather hard to believe things like that, so we've always been suspicious of everyone. Well, that's really not too hard to understand. Yeah, especially when you've got sleazy weasels and hyenas for neighbors. Mm, yes, but thanks to you and your unselfish help, I've come to the realization that the world also has its share of good and kind people. At least we can give people the benefit of the doubt. Isn't that right, Granther? You're absolutely right. Here's the other painting. Hero, that looks just like you! And that's Luigi or I'm a monkey's uncle. And Amy! This one I don't recognize. Maybe it's someone we're destined to meet. Your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> The world is not populated by bad people exclusively, but it's wise to be careful. See you next time.